Amelia bent over to pick up a piece of paper, Blunt's love letter which he had just written to her. She looked into his smiling eyes, not uttering a word, and could see that he knew she loved him. She put her arms around Blunt's waist and rested her head on his lap. Blunt placed his hand on Amelia's head, and they froze in silence. Their loving hearts did not need words. They were both aware they would not be able to stay apart. They were meant for each other. Even the birds had quieted down, preparing to tell the entire avian population that the love their ancestors sang about still existed. Suddenly, the chords of the familiar tune drifted over, filling Amelia's heart with melancholy. The singer sang in an unfamiliar language about the love that brings only sorrow and eternal heartache. Why does that tune keep following me around? Amelia wondered. Why wouldn't it let her alone now that she was finally loved? Amelia was embracing Blunt as passionately as he was kissing her. Thus no one could doubt the purity of their feelings. Yet the singer kept mourning, weeping in his language about love which seldom brought us happiness and filled the heart with pain, making it suffer for years, lamenting nebulous love. 